happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited i have a pr unboxing from one of my favorite companies to work with which is double dip slash bellavina they were kind enough to send me over some more of their products to review they actually reached out and asked me was there anything on their website that i wanted to give a try and i picked up some goodies for us to look at and test out and before i hop into the video um this is actually a set that i did using the double dip bellavina um poly gel kit um the glam poly gel kit so i do have a full tutorial for this look i'll leave that down in the description in case you guys are interested in checking it out um so yeah y'all let's get into this unboxing they really they really showed out with this box i really like how they packaged it so yeah y'all this is how my box came here and i'm just going to try to unbox it with you all here on camera so it comes with all of this beautiful like confetti and such okay like it's packaged so nice and neat okay so yeah i'm just gonna move all of this stuff out of the way here so this is how it came packaged, y'all. It's so cute. So I'm just going to put that here. I'm going to go through. Y'all see all the goodies peeking through here. So I'm going to go through and just show you all everything that is included in this box. The first thing that they um, put in the box, it looks like it was a free gift. This is really cute. This is just like a little cosmetics bag. And let's see what they have inside of here. Okay, cool. So inside of here, they have, um, this looks like a buffing block it has a nail file i actually really like their nail file and then it has like some replacement heads for i guess your dip powders if they if the brush happens to harden up that does happen a lot when you're using dip powders um and then it also has a dust brush as well for dip powder application along with um a dip powder kit and instructions so it has all the instructions on how to use the dip powder kit and speaking of dip powders, that was one of the things that I wanted to test out more of from Double Dip. I've actually, so Double Dip is actually the first um, brand that I ever used with dip powder application. And um, my first experience, like my first time ever doing dip powder nails came out amazing. So I definitely wanted to try more of their dip powders. So I got their classic dip powder kit. And so it comes with um, six different colors. It comes with very cotton, clear base, which is nice. I actually don't have a split like a dedicated clear dip powder base, especially not from Double Dip anyways. Kayla Lovey. Yeah, Kayla Lovey. Okay. Charlie's Angel, which I believe is a really pretty white color. So that's what that looks like. Black Like My Heart. <laughs> okay, Black Like My Heart. That's an interesting name for it. But yeah, that's what that came with. I see Enchanted here which I think is a gold glitter dip powder. And then the last color that it came with is a red, um, which is called Cherry of Love. All of these are um, half ounce containers, so 0 0.5 ounces. And so I, honestly, at first I thought 0 0.5 ounces was kind of small, but you know, a little bit of this product actually does go a long way. So that's half an ounce container here. Next item that they included were their double dip premium nail liquid which i'm excited again really y'all this packaging is cute do y'all see this okay <laughs> let's take a moment there okay so this is their dip liquids here i really enjoyed the uh double dip dip liquids i actually think they're like my favorite dip liquids so far i've only tried like two yeah i've only tried two and not the two i've tried they're my favorite let's show you all what the dip liquids look like so this is how they come. It comes with the uh, dip base, the dip activator, top coat, and a brush cleanser. Now these are numbered and it starts with number two. So I'm not exactly sure what the number one is. I'm assuming it might be some type of primer and or dehydrator. But yeah, so again, you get the dip base, you get the activator, you get the top coat, and you get a brush saver, which is always good to have for dip liquids. Like I said, these dip liquids are really good. And then the last thing, y'all, which I'm like, super thrilled and super excited about i do not have any gel liners at all whatsoever in my collection and i've been wanting to get some for the absolute longest i was able to pick out their christmas gel art collection but honestly these christmas colors can really be used year round so that is what this looks like y'all i'm so excited for this i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can get it unboxed with you all here on camera mm, yeah i'm excited for this okay look at all of these pretty colors y'all this packaging is cute this packaging it's cute do you all see the white bottles with the gold lids and even at the top they have all of the swatches so i'm just going to kind of let you all kind of look at the array of colors that's in this collection 
So yeah, these are all the items that they sent me. I just wanted to get them unboxed with you out here on camera. A special thanks to Double Dip once again for sending me these products over for review. I feel like whenever I do my nail tutorials, I rarely ever show my face. And so I just wanted to pop in and say hi to you guys. And so now I'm getting ready to take these sets off. Again, I do have tutorials for both of these sets down in the description box. So if y'all want to check them out, you can. I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything off camera. I'm going to show you what they look like swatch. And then we're going to get into a nail look. Okay, y'all? Okay, happy people. So now that we're face down, I'm going to give you all a closer look at all the items that was sent over to me. This is how this little iridescent makeup bag looks. It's really cute, you guys. It's kind of like the, the holographic unicorn bag. These are the dip liquids. I really love the packaging. I mean, Double Dip, they knocks it out the park every time when it comes to the packaging. I have used Double Dip liquids in the past, and I absolutely love them. As far as the dip powders are concerned, I did go ahead and swatch everything off camera. I want to show you guys what they look like. So the first one here is Charlie's Angel. So this is what Charlie's Angel looks like. It's a really pretty white color. And then the next one here we have is Cherry of Love. This is a really beautiful red color here. That beautiful, deep, just classic red here. It's really, really pretty. I like this a lot. Black Like My Heart, <laughs> which the name is really cute. Okay, so this is what that black looks like. Really pretty. Nice, beautiful. We have this beautiful new color, which is called Kayla Lovey. Yeah, really beautiful new. Nude. Honestly, the new is kind of almost like my skin tone, like under the palm of my hand. So I wonder what that would look like. It's a cute nude. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. And then we have the clear base, which is just clear. I guess I'll still go ahead and show it to you guys, but there's not much to it. It looks like it's gonna be white, but it's clear. I did swatch this color. I'm kind of wondering to myself why now, because I feel like with dip powders, it's kind of hard to swatch the clear. You kind of have to use it in application, but I did try to add top coat to it. So I think this is one where I'd have to actually apply it to the nail to see how clear the clear actually is. We have two more colors here. We have Fairy Cotton, okay. And this is like a really beautiful light soft pink color here. And this is what that looks like. Really pretty. And the last color that came in the collection here is this really beautiful silver color that's called Enchanted. Okay, I'll show you guys what this looks like. This is what this looks like in the container. Really beautiful, oh my goodness. So yeah, these are all the dip powder colors that came. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the liner brushes. Actually, really quick, before I take these all the way out of the packaging, I just wanna show you all, at the top, they do all have the swatches, and then on the back, they are all numbered from one all the way up to 12. Number one, this is what this looks like. Looks like it's gonna be a nice white color here. And it looks like the point on the brush is pretty thin too. So that's going to be nice for some nail art. Okay, very nice. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, and twelve. Wow, this collection is really pretty. Y'all can see here, that's the entire collection here. And I mean, these are some really pretty colors, y'all. Like, they're very, very beautiful. These are colors you'll definitely get a lot of use out of. I'm gonna go ahead and take this set off. Um, if you all are interested in this tutorial, I will leave it linked down below. 
I also have a tutorial for this one as well. I'll link them both. But yeah, I'm gonna take this set off. All right, happy people, I am back. I have went ahead and applied my square tips from Shein. So I am gonna be doing an acrylic application on myself. You guys, this is my first time ever applying acrylic to my actual nails. Y'all are gonna come along on the journey with me to see how easy and or hard this is gonna be for me. So yeah, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm also gonna be doing this set with my non-dominant hand i'm right-handed so i'm also gonna be doing it with my non-dominant hand i do have a dedicated video on how i prep this prep my nails for this acrylic application i applied it in a way in which um they would last about a week week and a half but also will still be a really quick easy pop-off removal so i'll leave that video link down in the description so that you all can check that out as well i do have my monomer all ready to go okay and then i have my little matte towel to wipe off and then here is the color from Double Dip I'm going in with. This is their, what is this, Kayla? Kayla Lovey. Um, so that's the color I'm going to be using. It's going to be, that's what I'm going to use for the nude color all over my nail bed. Y'all, I have a new acrylic brush. It's my first time using this brush as well, so I'll let y'all know how that works out for me. And yeah, let's do this, y'all. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but we're going we to make it work. I'm going to pick up my first bead here. Okay. And I think I'm gonna just kind of set it here to kind of seal, you know, the tip to the actual nail bed itself. Yeah, this is hard to do with my non-dominant hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to feel that tip all the way in here. so good the brush is working out pretty well thus far okay. oh, this is hard to do with the nine diamond hand Okay, now I'm gonna try to go in with my next bead here. Okay, I'm gonna do a small one here at the cuticle. I'm gonna try to get it close, but not too close. I feel like this acrylic brush is a little bit pointier than I need it to be. So we can still try to work it out here. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's looking a little lump lump. All right, happy people. So as you all are watching me apply this acrylic for the first time with my non-dominant hand, I wanted to come in and um, share a quick story time with you all. Um, but before I get into the story, as you all see, I did just do one more tiny bead at the cuticle area. I'm just trying to fill in the empty space that I had there. So yeah, you guys, um, you all saw the long nails that I had on at the beginning of the video. So it was my first time doing extra, extra long nails. And I didn't, so I kept that set on for a couple of days after 
I did that video and um, I actually a total of like maybe five days I kept the nails on which I was actually surprised and impressed about that I was able to manage myself with such long nails but I realized when I was out and about in public there was like I don't know I just felt like I got treated a little bit differently having really long nails and so I didn't know that was a thing so I wanted to come here to ask you all have you all ever have you all ever experienced people like looking at you differently or treating you differently because you had really long nails um I wasn't like I said I wasn't really expecting it so it kind of took me back a little bit and took me by surprise like I remember I had to go in into an office and fill out some documents um and people were just like looking at me strange and even when I went to the store I had like an online pickup order Order, I noticed that the lady you know she just I don't know she seemed like she just didn't want to deal with me and I was trying to figure out what it was like the, that whole week I just felt like something was off and I was like wait a minute is it because I have long nails on like is that a thing like are people really out here doing this like I was a little bit taken back I didn't get the memo y'all y'all didn't tell me so I was like oh okay are you judging me because I have long nails like really yeah, I just wanted to see um if you all have kind of had that experience before and um yeah like is that a thing y'all if you have extra extra long nails do people kind of judge you based off of that yeah i'd like to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below but yeah i'll go ahead and let you all um finish seeing me struggle bust the rest of my acrylic application here i'm just finishing up building my apex um i feel like i'm doing all right so far at this point in my acrylic application i do realize that the brush that i'm using is not good it's actually a little bit too stiff for my liking so when I go in with my second finger I am going to switch out that brush all together but here I'm just trying to build up my apex a little bit so that I can have some structure to my nails so yeah y'all I'm gonna let y'all finish up watching me struggle bus doing this acrylic application with my non-dominant hand and yeah I'll talk to you guys shortly all right y'all so this is what the first nail looks like okay it's not that pretty, but I have a little bit of an apex and the nail is covered, so I'm not too bad at that. And it's a little bit on the lumpy side, okay? But I don't think that's too bad for my first ever acrylic application, okay? I did go ahead and try to add a little bit more on top and smooth out the cuticle area off camera, but I don't know, maybe I made it worse, maybe I made it better. I'm not sure, but I will try to fix it during filing, so we'll see how that goes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch this brush out. This brush is a bit too too stiff, it's too pointy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my little cheapy acrylic brush from my beauty supply store. I'm gonna go in with my middle finger. I think I'm just gonna do two hands on camera because this is really hard to film. But um, yeah, I just wanna show you all my process here. So I'm gonna go in with the second one here. I'm gonna pick up um, just a, a medium sized bead, okay. And then I'm going to set it down on the nail right around the cuticle. Well, not the cuticle area, but around the area um, where the tip kind of meets the natural nail. And I did go ahead and switch out my brush to you guys. The other brush, it was a bit too pointy. I felt like I was like jabbing at the, at the acrylic instead of being able to move it freely. This brush is a lot better. Uh, this is actually, a, like I said, one of the cheapy brushes I got from my beauty supply store. I'll see if I can find something similar on Amazon for you guys, but... Yeah, it's much easier to work with, as you all can see, um, once I switched out the brush. Yeah, this brush ain't bad. It was a three pack of brushes for $4, no, $5, so that's not bad at all. Okay. I'm just going to fill in the rest of the tip here. Okay, like so. All right, that's looking good to me. Try to keep it nice and even. Right. Yeah, that looks good to me. One thing you guys want to make sure you do is keep your brush clean while you're working so that the acrylic doesn't like build up. Okay. So now I'm gonna try to go in with my cuticle bead, y'all. I'm nervous about this part. I'm not too good at the cuticle area here. So this is the cuticle bead. I'm trying to place it right here. And I'm gonna just try to push the product back. Okay. Like so. Yeah, this brush is a lot easier to work with. I feel like I can get pretty close without touching it. Like so, like right here, here, and here. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna swipe down on the rest of it here, like so. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty easy to me. Yeah, that, that worked. Y'all see? Oh, oh guys, she looking kind of good though. Wipe my brush off. And then I'm gonna come around the side over here. Just try to clean up the cuticle a little bit. Okay, looking pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Cool. So now all I have to do is go in and build my apex. You see? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Alright, so I got a little bit of a bigger bead here. And I'm just going to set it down to build my apex up here, like so. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of, just kind of tilt my nail down so that it, it kind of works for me instead of against me. Push it back. Okay. And then swipe down, like so. Okay. Try to get the other side here. And mind you guys, I am doing all of this with my non-dominant hands, so yeah, I think it's I think it's going pretty good, all things considered. Okay, like so. Okay, I do feel like I do feel like I built up the apex pretty good on here, but I feel like it's a little like this side is missing some, so I'm gonna go in with a, a little bit of a smaller bead here. Like on the other side just to kind of fill it in a little bit okay like just like right here just to kind of give it a little bit more structure okay like so maybe look at that I did it Oh my God, on the second nail, what? Do y'all see this? Okay, this is pretty cool. Like, do y'all see the difference from the first nail to the second nail? All right, let's see how good the third nail looks. Let's, let's give this a try, okay? I'm excited now, okay? So the right brush makes a difference and the right technique makes a difference, okay? So this is my ring finger here, okay? I'm gonna do the same method here. I'm gonna go in right here place to be. I guess I'm going to try to do it this way so I can kind of see what I'm doing too. And I really want to just kind of seal in the tip to the natural nail bed. Okay. Like so. Alright. And then I'm going to just swipe down once I do that. And you want to swipe down with light pressure. It's hard for me to gauge the pressure with my left hand, but just swipe down with light pressure here. Okay. Clean this little side wall up here, like so. Okay, that's looking good. I love that, okay. And then I'm gonna go in with my second bead, okay. And I'm gonna fill in the rest of my tip. All right, so like so, I'm gonna tap it. And this is just to fill the color in. Right. So I'm gonna do like that and swipe down. Oops. I'm gonna let that polymerize a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna come in and mold it. Oops. I tap too hard on it. Oh man. Okay. I'm messing this one up. Let me just go ahead and grab that off. I just want to smooth this out. So at this point, I just added another bead near the cuticle area, trying not to touch the cuticle, um, but just wanting to kind of fill it in and build up the rest of the shape of the nail. And while I'm here, I just wanted to pop in and say that we are almost at our next milestone here on YouTube, you guys. At the time of doing this voiceover, my subscriber count is currently 1,487 subscribers. And I just want to say that I appreciate each and every last one of you all. Like, 
You all have been super amazing and super wonderful. And so I appreciate the continued love and support, not only from my subscribers, but also from my now sisters. And just, I love this community that we have built here and will continue to be building. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as you all just saw, I kind of messed up the shape of my nail a little bit, trying to remove a hair from the acrylic, but I will fix that here shortly. Yeah, let me get back to the video and let you all see me struggle bust this part of the application. Okay, so that already hardened up. <laughs> this, y'all look, this right here is the true definition of trust the process, okay? I'm gonna go in with another bead and try to cover this up because that did not go too well. It was a piece of hair that got stuck in the acrylic, so I was trying to remove it and created this big old dip. So I'm gonna go on one more bead here and try to fix that, okay? So this bead here, it's gonna be my apex bead anyway, okay? And I just wanna kinda smooth the back end out like so, okay? So as you all see me smooth out the rest of the nail, I am gonna go in with one more bead just to finish off the rest of the shape of the nail. Um, and so during the month of May, it's going to be a pretty hectic month for me. So I won't have a lot of time to film. So I hope you all don't mind, but over the next few weeks, I'll be uploading a lot of pre-recorded content so that I can continue to stay as consistent as possible for you all. Um, in general, I do tend to do a lot of batch recording when I have spare time because I do have a pretty busy schedule and so I don't always have you know time available to film. And so with that free time I do have, I spend it recording a lot of content at once so that when life happens as it is happening to me right now, I don't skip a beat with my uploads. Um, so yeah, I did do a poll on my community tab recently and I can see that you all want to see more nail art and more nail tutorials from me. So I definitely wanna make that a priority on my channel. Um, and so I also do plan to bring you all more nail tutorials and looks um, because I know that's something that you all want to see from me. So I'm really excited to dig in my collection and get even more creative with some of the nail looks that I'll be bringing you all. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish smoothing out the rest of the nail and hop back into this tutorial. I hope you all are enjoying my first ever acrylic application. I think I'm doing all right so far. <laughs> All right, y'all, nail number three is a bit lumpy, okay? Y'all see this is nail number three. That's a bit lumpy, but it's, y'all, It's this is, as far as acrylic application, it's not going bad at all. And I am loving this nude color. Yes, this looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the last two fingers off camera and I will be back. All right, you guys, so this is what my acrylic application is looking like. Again, this is my first time ever applying acrylic to my natural nails. And I think I did pretty good for it being my first time and then also doing it on my non, doing it with my non-dominant hand. So let me know what you guys think so far. This is before I file shape and buff. But I'm gonna go ahead and just go and wash my hands. I love this nude color, by the way. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. Like, yeah. And then also too, like these applied beautifully as acrylics, you know? So I really love the double dip dip powders as either a dip powder or either as an acrylic. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and file shape and buff and I'll be right back. That means this is all ready to go. I'm not sure what happened back here, but this seems like it's not trying to harden up. It feels a little gummy. So I'm gonna just let that hang out for a little bit and hopefully it hardens up eventually. But the rest of these nails are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this um, filing my free edge and shaping that. So I didn't want this video to be super long. I mean, we're already like almost at 40 minutes here. So I wanted to speed through me filing, but I'm actually going to do a separate dedicated video and I'm gonna actually keep this same footage and just do it in real, real time. I wanna show you all how I was able to file shape 
and buff my nails um, to get it to look the way that it did because I was really impressed and really happy with how my shaping turned out. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna keep this footage in real time, but I'm just gonna release it in a separate video and kind of dedicate that to kind of filing and shaping for those who need help with that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop back into the rest of the video. This is probably the best filing, shaping, and buffing I've ever in my life did. You guys see, I got a nice little apex there. Cuticles look pretty flushed. I'm impressed you guys. I'm impressed with the shaping and filing on this stuff. But I'm all done with filing, shaping, and buffing in OMG. I can't believe I created this look. Like, yeah, I'm kind of speechless on how good this application looks. Like I'm shocked. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in now and apply my top coat. And then I'm gonna go in with some nail art, y'all. All right, you guys, so I just applied the top coat off camera, and y'all, what do you think? I think these nails look freaking stunning. Like, I am really shocked that I produced something like this, you guys. Again, this is my first time applying acrylic to my actual nails. And y'all, do y'all see the shape of this? Oh my, y'all see that apex, okay? Yeah, I like this, y'all. So honestly, I had this whole design planned out for this set. I was gonna go in, I was gonna do some red French tips and some bling, and to be quite frank with you, I am really loving how this set looks as is. And I know this is like, I'm switching it right here on the spot, but I just really wanna enjoy this color and enjoy just the fact that I created this set, like the shape and everything. I just want to just enjoy it. I just want to look back. I just want to admire my work for the next week or however long this set lasts because um, I'm just, I'm loving how it looks, you guys. So I'm sorry. Like I said, I had a whole design planned out, but sometimes simple is best and sometimes just enjoying a nice nude set, baby, it'll get you right. Okay, happy people, I am back, and it is actually a few days later. Um, I really had a hard time um, putting any type of nail art over top of these nails because I was actually just really impressed at how good my acrylic application turned out. Like, I just was really happy with the overall look of my acrylic application, and so I tried a couple different other, like, practice designs, and just nothing really turned out the way I was wanting it to be, so I ended up just stepping away from, you know, the nail art for a few days, and kind of going back to the drawing board and just kind of enjoying just a basic nude set. But now I know what design I want to do. I'm actually going to keep it really simple. I want to do, like, a glitter ombre. Um, I want to do a gold glitter ombre on all the nails and then y'all know it wouldn't be complete without a little bit of charm tippity So I'm gonna add some charms to my ring finger and then that'll be it for this set Since it is a few days later I'm just gonna go in with some alcohol just to make sure that top coat doesn't have any type of oils or anything on it This is also a good lesson too for other people who do nails. It's like, you know, Sometimes you all might not have the inspiration or the motivation right there on the spot where you're doing your nails. And it's okay to kind of walk away from it and come back and then decide what you want to do. I am going to put one of these gel art liner brushes to use. I am super excited to have these and to just like play around with nail art, you know, have, have my nail art be a lot easier. So this is um, the number 12 and it's like this really beautiful gold glitter color. And so I'm just going to ombre all the nails with this color, okay? When you guys are working with the liner brushes, just a quick tip is you know when you put the when you take the brush out there's a lot of gel on the stem and I know people have issues with like sometimes the gel runs and drips and gets everywhere it's really important just go ahead and just scrape all of that extra off so I scrape it to the point where I can see the clear on the stem of the brush and that's just to make sure um, you know nothing is dripping off of it and then from there I kind of just swirl around the stem and just kind of lightly dip back in and so you see I have plenty of products now to work with so that's just a little tip to help you all use gel liner brushes now I'm just gonna go in with the tip of all of the nails and just apply this beautiful gold glitter like so And these are really easy to work with. I play, Like I said, I played around with a few designs for this um, before deciding on this one. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's really pretty and easy to work with. I'm not sure how far down I want to come on the nail. But the goal is just to kind of create like an ombre looking glitter nail. That's, that's what I'm planning to do here.
Okay, so it's been flash cured. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a top coat to all the nails. So this is a really simple design I'm doing, but I'm gonna go through and add a top coat to all the nails. And then I'm gonna go in and add a charm. I was going through my collection and I found these little um, bow tie charms here. So I am gonna go ahead and go in with one of those on my ring finger and then we'll be all done here. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and applied my top coat and my charm and did my thumb off camera and I'm liking how she's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil. All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, okay y'all, so I'm giving y'all that nice, beautiful, simple glitter ombre on a beautiful nude background with this set. And I'm loving how it turned out. And you guys, you have to let me know, how did I do on my acrylic application, okay? This is my first time applying acrylic to my nails. And I also did it with my non-dominant hand. So yeah, you guys, let me know how I did. I think I did pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Y'all see that nice little apex that I have going on there? Like, yes, I'm really, really proud of how this set turned out. And I'm loving the nice, simple, slightly luxe design. And that charm is just the perfect addition to kind of tie this whole set together. Overall, thoughts on these products is I really enjoyed working with them. Special thanks to Double Dip for sending over these products. I really enjoyed working with the dip powder as an acrylic so it is true as you all can see it can be either used as a dip powder or doubled as an acrylic as y'all can see I use it as an acrylic on my set today and it turned out just wonderfully it was a dream to work with honestly it's just really good quality products and then these gel liners were really awesome to use too you all see how simple it was for me to do my nail art with them I really like them they're of a really nice consistency and the packaging is really nice as well so I mean overall you all know I'm a big fan of double dip products they just they are just high quality and high performing so yeah if you all are interested in picking up any of their products i do have a discount code i'll leave it here on the screen um, but it's rosa 20 um, that'll save you all 20 percent off of an order if you all decide to purchase or test out any of their products yeah y'all let me know how i did on my first time applying acrylic to my nails y'all i think i did pretty darn good like wow like i said it's my first time doing an acrylic set on my nails and i did it with my non-dominant hand so y'all y'all have to let me know how i did down in the comments i'm thinking the little apex situation yes it's looking pretty good y'all see that the apex is looking pretty darn nice that falling and shaping was a little bit of a struggle for me but y'all i think i i think i did that overall this set took me it took me like three or four hours to do and that was just this one hand so I definitely need to practice more with my acrylic application because yeah that stuff is not easy so hats off to those who are really good in acrylic because you know I have a newfound appreciation for it because the shaping of it even after you finish the application is still work in and of itself you all kind of saw my process with this set sometimes when you don't know what you want to do it's okay to just not do anything at all you know um, and that's why I had to kind of step away from this set and come back a few days later but yeah y'all I'm loving how this set turned out Oh, let me know what you think. How did I do? Yes, I think I did pretty good y'all. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!